Hey folks, this is Don from BrainBlinks.com and I'm here with another update on my breeders simulation. Uh, I made some pretty good progress this week. I had a lot of fun uh, kind of taking a lot of my prototypes and tests and ideas and putting them into my new system here. Um, it felt a little bit like a mad wizard actually, just throwing in clouds and a day-night cycle and making it rain and uh, growing plants and whatnot. I just, I'm having a blast with this project and Unity is just so much fun. It, it's a great way to take a diverse set of digital design skills and put them to use. <laughs> it's especially fun when everything goes right. I, I had a very successful week and very little frustration which makes it nice. Um, one of the most obvious things I added was uh, this cloud system and a day-night cycle. This is from the Unity Asset Store. It's called Unisky, and it's pretty fantastic. These are fractally generated clouds with all sorts of different um, variables and things you can change to change the color of the light, the the character of the light. There's actually a I think it's physically accurate lighting model that you can especially notice when the sun goes down. Um, but I whipped up, whipped up this HUD earlier today and I'm just kind of using it to make some presets that I'll use to uh, base all the variations off on the sim. So basically every day, every minute will be a slightly different setup in the sky, which ought to add a really nice natural look to everything and definitely add some variety. Right now it's uh, just cosmetic, but eventually the critters will be reacting to the amount of light that's available. So they'll, at night, they'll be collecting less energy, so they won't have as much um, energy to create their seeds and uh, move around and stuff. Although I will have some nocturnal creatures that thrive at night and uh, some plants that even bloom light, I think, which ought to add some interesting dynamics. Uh, I also added, this is kind of a test, but I added... Um, some flowers to my blooming tricactus here, or my blooming cactus. Um, I'm not quite sure this is a good idea, but I'm using particles to make the flowers. There's only 20 particles on each individual plant, but I have 111 of them right now, so I have 111 particle emitters. So I'm not sure if that is a bad idea performance-wise. I'm going to have to look into it. But I love the way it looks. Uh, not necessarily the puffy vagueness of it, but uh, just the color and variety that it adds and the visual indication of what's happening. I'd like there to be visual indications of just about everything that's happening in the sim. And eventually I just, I kind of want a riot of motion and color <laughs> and life and movement. Uh, you'll just see how much of that I can get in and without bringing everything to a crawl performance wise. Uh, another visual indicator I added uh, was the colors on the herders and the other creatures I have working right now. Um, there's kind of two colors on this. You can see the seeds are kind of a brightly colored and those are the color that is passed around through the DNA and that randomly mutates through the generations. And I mix that in with uh, one based on their stats. So these ones that are greener here have a longer life and if you saw some that were more red they would have more power. So uh, it kind of gives you a little visual indication of their stats and also it just looks nice and makes it easier to track individual creatures. Uh, another big change is kind of under the hood. Uh, performance wise I added a, uh, I guess what's called a pool manager. Uh, because there's hundreds and thousands of objects being created and destroyed constantly in this sim, uh, I needed something to do to help me do all that instead of just actually creating and destroying them in with the unity commands which can cause memory and garbage collection problems this breed it's called the pool manager this is another plugin from the asset store um, kind of just keeps a pool of objects I can draw from anytime I want and use one uh, which eliminates the memory problems and or at least reduces them I probably could have written this myself but I decided to use this plugin because it was cheap and way more efficient than I could code. I'm kind of a, I don't know, brute force programmer. So um, 
that's one reason I like the asset store. I can take advantage of other people's awesome programming skills like Unisky or NGUI HUD or the Megafires that I use to make my morphing my morphing flower. Uh, I guess there's some danger there of uh, middleware bloat or whatever, but uh, you know it's allowing me to do things that I'd never be able to do on my own. So I think it's great. <laughs> So yeah, everything went really well this week, um, and I'm happy with my progress. My plan right now is to have a playable, downloadable version of the new sim by the end of the month. Uh, it's going to be my April one game of the month, and it's kind of going to be similar to the old version of Breeders, except you'll have the evolution, you'll have loading and saving, and just limited forms of evolution. I won't. I'm just kind of going to put the basics in for now. And but you'll be able to say select one of these herders, get a little head, HUD up here, and you'll be able to adjust its DNA and stats on the fly, and then see how that changes and affects the behavior over the generations. I mean, that's where I've had all the fun uh, making this game is you know setting up the stats, changing them a little, and seeing how that affects their behavior. So. Uh, once this new version is out, you'll be able to do that too. And the saving and loading is going to be a big deal too because uh, you don't want to put a huge effort into setting up some simulation that you want to test and have to do it every time. You'll be able to save and load and get some uh, multiple generation sims going on. So I'm pretty excited about that. Um, so I guess that's it. Uh, I also I wanted to give a quick shout out to some of the people who have been following my project for a long time. You know, I, I released the first version of Breeders, I don't know, I guess it's almost two years ago. Uh, it's, I know it's over 18 months. And there's I know a lot of people got excited about it back then and probably frustrating waiting for me to get my stuff together and uh, get a new version of it out. But I really do appreciate the patience, you know, and, and the attention that you've paid to the project all this time it really gives me uh, motivation and you know it's nice to know that people are interested enough to uh, stick around and pay attention so I hope your patience pays off and you know in just a couple weeks you'll have a new version to play around with so I'm looking forward to getting that into your hands and seeing what you think about it so I guess that's all for today you know um, do the like and subscribe and comment and all that good YouTube stuff and uh, I'll be back soon with another video. Thanks a lot. My God, it's full of stars.